brought you a gun? Can I see her? Why, what's the matter, yeah? If you suck again? Stacy! You just missed her. She's gone. A few minutes ago, remember? Job, calf, Barnstable? No, not if I've got anything to do with it. I love her. Please, I love her. Well, hurry up then. You can still catch her. She's got the tube. Good luck! Thanks. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I was dishonest and it was stupid and thoughtless and I will never do anything like that again. Kevin was right. Kevin? I was using you pushing me as an excuse so I didn't have to think about me and Dawn and what I'd done to you. I, I wanted you to be wrong so that I could be right. Does that make sense? Uh, just about. Oh, I love you so much, oh, I Mom. love you too. <sighs> never thought you'd come back. Well, I didn't really have much choice. Oliver. I, I need you to be by my side because if you're not, what's the point? You know, a new job, a new life, it, it doesn't mean a thing if I can't share it with you, so come with me, please. There is a wonderful, beautiful life just waiting for us. Let's begin it. No. Huh? I'm so sorry, I can't. Is this about Dawn? No. No, it is nothing that you have done. Well, I, I, I don't understand. This is just something that... Oh. All my life, I have been scared of looking after myself, of being alone, of just about everything. And the thing is, how am I ever going to learn how to be happy when I leave it to a bunch of other people to decide? Other people? Yes, you know, friends, family, husbands, boyfriends. All my life I've been happy or unhappy because of their choices, the things that they've done. It's like I give them all the power and I'm... I have been little Mo too long. Maybe it ain't never gonna be my turn. But the thing is, I'm never going to find out, am I? Unless I learn to stop being scared. Um, well, there's nothing I can do, because I promise you... No. No. to know how you're going to put a stop to this. Mrs Fowler, I can assure you, we take bullying very seriously. And so you should. But the kind of thing that Martin's experiencing, the snide comments and uh, name-calling, it, it has to be handled very carefully. I see. And uh, how exactly do you intend to handle this, then? Well, the staff are all aware of the problem and they'll be keeping a close eye on Martin. We'll be doing everything we can to make sure the children don't upset him any further. Yes, but they should be punished. Well, that's a bit tricky, I'm afraid, especially when so many seem to be involved. Well, then they should all be punished. Well, that can be counterproductive. You see, it can single out the one child, set him even further apart from his classmates, when actually what he wants is to fit in. Look, my son's never had any trouble before, and all of a sudden he's locking himself in the bathroom so he doesn't have to come to school. This is bound to be a difficult time for him, the shock of his father being taken away. Yeah, well, leave me to worry about his father, if you don't mind. But if there are problems at home, that'll affect his behaviour at school. 
There's nothing wrong with my son's behaviour, thank you very much. It's the other children making his life a misery. And anyway, his dad will be home soon, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm sure he will, Mrs Fowler. And please believe me when I tell you that we as teachers here attach no stigma to a child whose father is in prison. On remand? Martin is by no means the only child whose father has spent time on remand or serving a prison sentence. And it's always a traumatic time for the families involved. I'm sure it is, and they have my sympathy. But this case is rather different, isn't it? I'm sorry? Well, my husband's innocent. Oh, hey. Rule one, Phil. Don't let him tell you it off in public. Doesn't help the image. And rule two, don't poke your nose in where it ain't wanted. Don't worry, Carmen. They're not all under-evolved round here. Where's Mark? Gone to see Shirley. Why? I was going to introduce him to Carmen. She's working Sanjay's pitch while he's away, and God knows where he's got to. All right. Pleased to meet you. Uh, what are you selling? Oh, jewellery and stuff. Do you want to buy something? Maybe. Well, it's time you got to work. Uh, I'll come over and have a look at your stuff later. Anytime. Oi! Oh, I'll never come back to you. What makes you think I want you back? So why all this, then? I had to say goodbye properly, didn't I? You enjoyed it too, didn't you, baby? You pig. <sighs> had to do it. To see if I still cared enough to kill you for what you did. But I don't. Just get out of my face. I oh, nearly forgot. Poor Truman. I have to kill him. You see? I can't have him giving the lies around town with my woman. That wouldn't be right. Angel, please. Sorry, can't be helped. I love him. Yeah. Think of it as good news, bad news. The bad news, you lose me. The good news, I get to kill Loverboy. OK, look, leave him alone. I'll come back to you, yeah? Sorry, no can do. But if he wasn't with you, oh. well, if he couldn't have you, then I have no reason to hurt him, would I? You can't do that. Watch me. If I find you within ten feet of each other, no matter where you go, how far, I'll find you and I'll kill him. Even let you watch. In fact, I insist on it. Would you like a cup of tea before you go? No, no, thank you. Well, a bit of toast or something won't take a minute. No, I'm fine, honest. Oh, hey, look at those. They've come on a treat on that windowsill, haven't they? Oh, what are they? Tomatoes. Huh? Look, I'll get the other plants. There's a new bag of seed compost under the sink. Yeah, OK. Oh, well, Arthur, you're not going to do that here, are you? You've got a perfectly good potting shed for that sort of thing. It's all right, Mrs Fowler. I won't make a mess. I'm a very clean sort of person. Yeah, you're a boy. The two don't go together. At least let me put the papers down. Well, I would have done this in the potting shed, and it seemed a waste of time taking them all down there. And then I have to bring them back this morning. Silly. Hey, I did some cuttings last night as well. Where? In the front room. Oh, good. Now then, let's get a pot. Now, gentle is the key. Right. Now, fill a pot with your compost. That's that. Right. Then get your finger. Make a hole in the middle there, like that. A nice big one for the roots, yeah? Now, get your little dip, a little fork. And very gently, get out your seedling. Very gently, very, very gently. Yeah, like that. Dangle it over the hole and drop it gently in. Mind the roots. And then, tuck it in like that. See that? Very, very gentle. It's good being gentle. Yeah. It's a good idea, this, you know. The square will be full of people today. Now, not everyone's got a back garden, but everyone's got room for a tomato plant in their backyard, haven't they? Should have, yeah. Yeah, not 50p a throw. That'll, that'll be, uh, well, it'll be quite a lot, won't it? Give 
Here's your money. Oh, you are Get out of it. Get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Daft, it fits you like a glove. I promise you. Right, sit down there. Now, here's the deal. In less than two hours, all right, I need you to marry me. I'm already married. No, no, Ray, you crabstick. I don't mean marry me. I No, I need you to marry me to someone else. A bird? Yeah, of course it's a bird. But don't you need a vicar? No, a registrar. But the thing is, if the registrar doesn't turn up on account of some family tragedy or something, then I need to get a last-minute replacement. That's you. Me? Yeah. Is that legal? <sighs> no. Of course that ain't legal, but the thing is, you know, if I don't get married today, Raiden, it's going to break someone's heart and there is no way I can let that happen. All right, well, let's get things straight. All right. You want me to pretend to be a vicar? A registrar. Registrar. Yeah. Marry you off to some bird. Mm -hmm. That's right. Here. Yeah, downstairs in a pub. For hundred quid? Yeah. Easy, what do you reckon? What do I need the whistle for? Ray, please, you don't need to fl Just forget about the whistle. The whistle's gone. OK. Now, I've written this down for you. Because I remember from the first time I did. But anyway, but I need you to memorise this, all right? Right, it's simple. Just memorise all that for me, yeah? Right. Thank you. Back in a minute. Good lad. <coughs> Wait, excuse me, Spencer. Thank you. Marriage is the exchanging of solemn vows. Marriage is the exchanging <coughs> of solemn vows. Are you certain you got the name of this pub in? Yes, yeah, that's fine. Just that we discussed it, okay? Okay. Yes. Turn over. Running. Yep. 22, take one. Okay, As the governor of an old style traditional East End pub, did you find that your business has been affected by the arrival of these newcomers to the area? No, not really. I mean, it's a community pub, it thrives on its locals. Places like the Dagmar, they're the tourists, aren't they? Well, a pub's a pub, isn't it? I mean, ours is a bit more glamorous than most, but we've still got friendly staff and we still make the punters feel welcome. Yes, but if all the pubs in the area were refurbished like the Dagmar, surely an essential part of the East End would have vanished forever. Well, that's not so bad, is it? You've got to move with the times. What do you want, pearly kings and queens all over the place? <laughs> fine, that's terrific, thanks. What, is that it? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, jeez. Mind, there you go, eh? <laughs> you know, I do so admire a man who devotes his entire life to serving society. I nearly went into politics myself, you know. Really? What? Well, if, if you have any ideas for how I could help Walford, here's my card. Oh, I wouldn't dream of telling the Mayor of London what to do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good. Lovely. You just move that further in down there. Good. Lovely. And uh, if we could have everybody now, then. Steve, please. Oh, we'll talk about it later. You're on. Um... Mother and father were unable to make it, Melanie. No. They're divorced, I understand. Who told you that? Philip. He's such a lovely young man. Now tell me, when did you first decide that you wanted to become a barmaid? <sighs> Mrs. Owen. Why don't you call me Mum? Okay, bride and groom in the middle, please. Mum, next to the groom. And uh, witnesses either side. And if you, sir, could just uh, Step in, lovely. And uh, you, sir, if you could stand next to uh, this young lady over here. Just give me one moment. Are you here just to torment me? No. I'm here to torment myself. OK, and if we can have a big smile, please. Lovely. Oh, smashing. And another. Lovely, and again. Yeah, that's lovely. All done. Mum, look, uh, I'll have a word with Beppe, eh? See if he can give you a ride back to reception. No, I think I'm already taken care of. Is that all right with you, Philip? Yeah, of course. No problem. We can have a nice long chat. <laughs> I feel as if Janet's here. Well, if my daughter was getting wed, I'd want to be here too. Funny. She'd be gone so long. Most of the time. 
hardly give her a thought. Get it other times. Other times? She feels real close. Almost as close as you are to me. Peggy. The other night. Oh, we just saw me that happen. Still friends. Still friends. <laughs> Shall I go and sweet talk the vicar? Oh, please. I'm beginning to think Boots giving me the boot. Well, maybe his mobile's not working. Or he just doesn't want to talk to me. Are you to an item yet? Oh, we're just friends. Beats me what you're waiting for. He likes you, you like him. Why don't you get on with if it? If you don't It's mind. no time to waste, Peggy. By the time you get to our age, the meter's ticking. Oh, Billy. Tried. Couldn't try it very hard. Uh, honey's very... We're, we're both really touched it. Have you any idea how much time I've spent arranging all this? The church, the vicar, the reception... No one asked you to do it, Peg. I beg your pardon? Well, didn't you stop and think for one minute that Annie might have liked to have been in on the planning herself? She hasn't got the energy to plan it. She told me that herself. Well, isn't it up to us to decide when we get married? <sighs> it's supposed to be the biggest day of a woman's life, not someone else's party. Billy. You know what you just said, you know, about how much you love me? I love you so much. So, will you marry me, Billy? <laughs>